So guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So I hope everyone is doing it fine. So today we are going to learn how to use a uh, uh, union to power the attacks. So union uh, we will use basically when we have a uh, multiple uh, table okay, with the same uh, column name and size. So we need to mark uh, append both the columns so that's why we use the uh, union index. So let me show you how we're gonna use that. So I'll just quickly jump to my uh, Power BI desktop. So I have already uh, uh, taken the two uh, the two table. Okay. Uh, so basically, we have uh, three sheets here. One is with uh, the store one, and the other one is store two. And one more we have is a region which is consists of uh, the region where the product is being sold, the product name. And the total sold units okay so what we want now uh, we need to append both store one and store two okay so that uh, we can create a new table for the product so we'll just start how we can do that so for that we'll just create a new table so for table i will uh, Give a name like uh, product, okay. So now I will use the uh, union uh, function. So for that, I will take the union first, okay. And see, guys, whenever you are merging the two columns, okay, you need to take uh, the unique name, okay. So I will just add a unique here. So to use a unique, okay, we need to use a one function called distinct. Okay. So distinct will help you to take only the unique values from both the tables. So if you want to create any primary uh, table, then we we'll use a distinct. Okay. So once you take a distinct, then you need to mention the table name that is a store and the column. Okay, that's a product. And you can close the bracket. And again, you can take the a distinct. And uh, this time, you will take a, a store to uh, the table. And uh, you will take a column as product. Then you can just close the bracket and hit the enter. And um, you will get a new table called uh, the product, which will consist of uh, both your store one as well as store two. Yeah. So see guys, we have a new new table, okay? So let's see. Let I'll just go to the so we have model view. So as this will be uh, our uh, primary table, okay? So let's just put this aside sometime. So these are our main two table. One is a uh, primary, okay? And this will be the child table, okay? So I'll just uh, try to create a relationship between both the tables. So let's see if it's getting uh, connected or not. We'll just put an OK. And we'll see the connection. So if you see guys, we are getting a many to many relationship, which is uh, absolutely uh, not correct, okay? Because we should not use a many to many relationship, okay? So as this is a primary uh, table, I want one to many. So let me just delete this. So what is the reason why we are getting a uh, relationship? Because we have a duplicate values in a product table. So as a rule says, the primary key should not contain any duplicate or apply uh, cell. Okay. So for that, I will I need to remove a uh, duplicate values in this table. For that, I will do. You just need to do anything. You just need to add a distinct in the first tab itself. So I'll add a distinct here, I and I will close the column here. So once you close it, you'll get a new formula. Okay. Okay. So once you close the bracket, and this is a code, guys. You need, you need to use a distinct. Uh, before you are starting with the union. So let's quickly jump to the model.
model view and see we are getting one to one illustration. So I'll just drag it here. I'm sure that will be duplicate uh, now. So let's wait for the. Okay. So, so you guys, it is created a one to many relationship. So this table is the primary key now. Okay, and this will be the child table. So always, uh, when you using the primary key, we should not have any duplicate or any flag. So this is the right uh, way of uh, creating the table. So we have a new table for product, which is our private key. Okay. So if you go to any, if you want to create any visual, so you can. Uh, do, I'll just take it. Uh, maybe a graph here. Yeah. Chart I will take. And for chart, I will use uh, our product. Okay. And uh, for the values, the x-axis I will take as. Uh, maybe unit so yeah you can take a unit so so this will show you the sum of units so see guys it is taking the data correctly so this is a unit sold uh, the highest profit like pen drive is sold the max zone then next off and so on so this is guys what I wanted to show you today so using the union as well as string we can create our own primary table okay so I hope guys this is uh, really useful and any concern you can just comment me I will get back to you very shortly and uh, I will just share you the data sets also maybe you can uh, check this by yourself so that's it guys from my hand and uh, take care have a good day